we're going to solve the equation tangent theta equals negative one and the equation tangent theta equals square root three divided by three on the interval from zero to two pi without the use of a calculator. So we'll be using reference triangles in the unit circle. So looking at our first equation, tangent theta equals negative one, let's first determine which quadrants tangent theta would be negative. Remember, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. So when x and y have opposite signs, this quotient would be negative, and therefore tangent would be negative. Which means tangent theta would be negative in the second quadrant, where the x-coordinate is negative and the y-coordinate is positive and tangent theta would also be negative in the fourth quadrant where the x-coordinate is positive and the y-coordinate is negative. Now looking at our equation tangent theta equals negative one, let's ignore the negative sign for a moment and think about an angle where tangent theta would be equal to positive one. Remember in a right triangle, tangent theta equals the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. And therefore, we should recognize that tangent 45 degrees, or pi over four radians, is equal to one divided by one, or positive one. Again, tangent pi over four radians is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, one divided by one, which equals positive one. Which means, if our angle had a reference angle of 45 degrees, in the second and fourth quadrants, the tangent function value wouldn't be positive one, it would be negative one. So again, any angle that terminates along this ray here and forms a 45 degree reference angle with the x-axis would have a tangent function value of negative one, as well as any angle that terminates here in the fourth quadrant that has a 45 degree reference angle. I know I'm using degrees here, but once we find the angles in degrees, we'll convert to radians. If we were to sketch our reference triangles, they would look like this, and like this. And again, because we have 45, 45, 90 reference triangles, we normally label the legs one and the hypotenuse square root two but because we're in the second quadrant where x is negative, this would be negative one. In the fourth quadrant, the y-coordinate is negative, so this would be negative one. So the angles we're looking for over the interval from zero to two pi would be this angle in the second quadrant and this angle in the fourth quadrant. So tangent theta equals negative one over this interval, when theta equals 90 plus 45 or 135 degrees, and when theta equals, this would be 270 plus 45, 315 degrees. Now let's go ahead and convert these to radians by multiplying by pi over 180. And there are four 45s in 180, three 45s in 135, so one angle would be three pi over four radians. And again, there are four 45s in 180, and there are seven 45s in 315. So our second solution over the given interval would be seven pi over four radians. So these are our two solutions that we found using our reference triangles. Let's also show how we can find these on the unit circle. Because we're looking for a tangent function value of negative one, we'd be looking for the points on the unit circle where the x and y coordinates are opposites. Notice that would occur here. Y divided by x would be negative one at three pi over four radians, and y divided by x would also be negative one here at seven pi over four radians. Now let's take a look at our second example. We have tangent theta equals square root three divided by three Let's begin by determining where tangent theta would be positive. Well, all trig functions are positive in the first quadrant, where both x and y are positive, but y divided by x would also be positive in the third quadrant, 
where both coordinates are negative. Now we want to find an angle that has a tangent function value, square root three divided by three, without using the calculator. To recognize that angle, we're probably going to want to change the form of square root three divided by three. Let's rationalize this numerator. So if we have square root three divided by three, and rationalize the numerator by multiplying by the square root of three over square root three, this would give us three divided by three square root three, which simplifies to one divided by square root three. Now we want to find an angle that has a tangent function value of one divided by square root three, which should remind us of a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, which we see here. Notice that tangent of three degrees, or pi over six radians, again is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, would be one divided by square root three which means if we sketch a three degree reference angle in the first and third quadrants, we can find our two solutions on the given interval. So we'll sketch a three degree reference angle in the first quadrant here, which of course is pi over six radians, as well as here in the third quadrant. Let's go ahead and sketch the reference triangles as well. So we label the short legs one, the hypotenuse two, the longer leg square root three. Everything's positive in the first quadrant, but in the third quadrant, because x and y are negative, this would be negative square root three and negative one. So the angles we're looking for over this interval from zero to two pi, again would be here, three degrees, and here, which would be 180 plus 30, or 210 degrees. So tangent theta equals square root three divided by three, or if we want one divided by square root three, we would have theta equals 30 degrees, which we already know is pi over six radians. Theta can also be 210 degrees, which if we convert to radians, there are six thirties in 180 and seven thirties in 210. We have seven pi over six radians. So these are the two solutions on the given interval. Let's see if we can find these on the unit circle. We want to determine the points where y divided by x is equal to one divided by square root three. We notice here at pi over six radians, y divided by x would be one half divided by square root three divided by two, and if we multiply this by two over two, we would get one over square root three. And also at 210 degrees, or seven pi over six radians, y divided by x would also be one divided by square root three. I hope you found these two examples helpful.